integrate 1 over uh, 3x3 plus 2x minus x squared. Okay, now, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to make this a perfect square. I don't like this negative x squared, so I've written this in the standard form of a quadratic equation, which is minus x squared plus 2x plus 3. Now, if I factor out this negative, this minus, you can factor out a negative, so everything changes. X minus x squared becomes plus x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, the next step is to make a perfect square. So this, I want to make a perfect square. So half of negative 2 is negative 1, and square of negative 1 is 1. So you added 1, take away 1, so this becomes a perfect square. And this also is a perfect square. Okay, so the next step is x minus 1, the whole squared minus 4. And now a difference of two squares, which is x minus 1, the whole squared minus 2 squared. And uh, using uh, doing difference of two squares, you can understand that step. So till here, it is pretty easy. Okay, now the next step, I want to write this as uh, addition or as two fractions. Okay, so I have written this as 1 over x plus 1 take away 1 over x minus 3. The reason I've done minus is, if you simplify this, so let me simplify this. So if you simplify this, uh, this will become x minus 3, you got a minus 6, so you got a minus here. So I'm multiplying, I have to multiply x minus 3 to this fraction and x plus 1 to this fraction. So this will be minus x minus 1 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. So here this and this gets cancelled. So the numerator is minus 4 over x plus 1 times x minus 3. Now to get rid of this negative 4, I have multiplied by negative 1 quarter because negative 4 times negative 1 quarter is 1 because the numerator the numerator that we have is only 1 so that's why I multiplied by negative quarter and negative you already have a negative here that's that negative is this negative so take away or minus uh, a minus quarter becomes a quarter so quarter and then you can distribute this integration dx so this is integration of 1 over x plus 1 dx minus integration of 1 over x minus 3. Now this is simple, that is natural log of modulus of x minus x plus 1 minus natural log of x minus 3 plus c, the constant of integration, which is, this is your final answer. Now it's a good practice to always check whether the answer that you got is right or wrong, or right, okay, or justify the answer. Now as we know, integration is the opposite of differentiation. If you differentiate this function, this whole thing, you should get back the, uh, the function that you integrated, started with this. So that's what I'm trying. Um, so this is also a good exercise of differentiation. So I'm differentiating this function, d by dx of 1 over 4 natural log of this plus c becomes, so you can distribute the d by dx of natural log of, uh, you can have taken the one quarter out, plus d by dx of c. Now this is nothing but zero. The, d, the differentiation of a constant is zero. Now to differentiate this function, you have to first differentiate the inside. Okay, so I, that's you can differentiate the outside and then the inside, but I like to differentiate the inside first. So to differentiate the inside using the chain rule, uh, x plus 1 over x minus 3 is same as 1 plus 4 over x minus 3. Now, how did I get this? This is a simple division of a polynomial by a polynomial. When we divide x plus 1 by x minus 3, x minus 1 times 1, x minus 3 times 1 is x minus 3. So, if you take away, so this is x take away x gets cancelled. And x take away negative 3 is 4. And this is 1 plus 4 over x minus 3. Or if you don't, you can simply look at this. If you cross multiply, this is x minus 3 plus 4 
which gives you x plus 1. Okay, now this becomes simple. So this is nothing but m, therefore, you can say m is 1 plus uh, x minus 3, the whole squared. And that you can differentiate with respect to x, which is minus 4 x minus 3 to the power negative 2. And that is minus 4 over x minus 3, the whole squared. So, uh, when you differentiate this function, d by dx of natural log of x plus 1 over uh, x minus 3 is 1 over 4. This is the differentiation of the inside. Okay, And differentiation of this is 1 over this whole thing, which becomes the reciprocal of this. That's why I've written x minus 3 over x plus 1. Okay, so this one of the x minus 3 gets cancelled, which is minus this and this also gets cancelled, which is negative 1 over x minus uh, 1, x minus 3 times x plus 1. And when you expand this, you get this. And this negative, you can, uh, you're multiplying this by negative 1 and this also by negative 1. And that is 1 over 3 plus 2x minus x squared. And that was what we started with integration of 3 plus 2x minus x squared and that's what we got.